Hello, it's me, Sunfire SG, and we're back for another episode of Craft Away. And uh, we seem to have a bit of an infestation. Now, I'm not too sure to do about this in particular because uh, currently I don't think there's any way to prevent slimes spawning. But hey, impromptu slime farm. I have got myself a ton of slime blocks and slime balls from this. It's been pretty ridiculous. Now, I did spy somewhere. Wandering Trader. Hello, there you are. Do you have what I need? Command blocks. Do you have command blocks for sale? Parrots. I could spawn parrots. Oh, I could have a base full of parrots. That could be fun. Uh, not really anything I... That's a rip-off. Jeez. Yeah, nothing I really need here, so that's fine. He can uh, despawn. That's not a problem. What we do want to do though is head downstairs because I've started making a bit of progress on the base and there's a little bit that I'd like to do with time lapse. So I've added these little Suncorp wings. There's four of them at the moment. There's going to be eight in total. I'm going to have some on the diagonal here. I'm not sure to put in there yet, so it might have a little, it might be like an observation pod. So there might be an elevator from the lower levels of the lab up, just so you can kind of observe the ocean around you. So if we head down here, I also want to get rid of the conduit because I'm getting a lot of these, yeah, there we go, the uh, night vision and stuff. So I get the particle effects, which I don't like. I don't think there's a way to get rid of those yet in Bedrock. But as you can see, we've got quite a lot of stuff done. And Campfire is here as well, ready for a bit of a time lapse I'd like to show you as I install what will be the front desk here. So this is going to be the main, I guess, reception area of the lab, basically when you teleport in, because there will be teleporters, uh, which bring you directly to, I'm guessing I might put some teleport pods in here, and they will bring you from different areas around the world uh, into the base and take you out to different parts of the world as well. And then this will be our front desk leading, or well, the hallways leading off to the different areas of the lab. Now I've also started a storage room down the back here which is pretty big. I'm, I'm dreading the redstone on it. I think I probably will have enough resources because honestly, iron is abundant on this server. Um, so that's not really too much of a problem, but decorating it and putting all the redstone in, yada, yada, yada. Probably gonna take a while, probably gonna do it off camera. It's not really worth making a video on because it is very basic storage system. You know, the old, uh, I wanna say impulse, SV item sorter stuff. Can't remember. Not sure, but it's easy enough to find. Uh, I'm not going to do it on camera. Everyone's seen it before. But I will take this moment to kind of address a few things. We have hit a couple of milestones uh, in the past couple of days. We have hit 900 followers on Twitter. We've hit 600 subscribers again on, on YouTube. And we also managed to, we've been in discussion, uh, you might have noticed the music from last episode was fantastic. Now I've been a follower of a channel called Retro Revolutions for quite a while. They are fantastic at uh, sort of upscaling consoles, old consoles, making them better. All these amazing custom paint jobs, things like that. Definitely go check them out. There'll be a, a link to them now. Ding! But also, uh, Jared from Retro Revolution, I can't get my words out. Jared from Retro Revolutions, uh, mentioned to me, uh, that I might be able to use some music from one of his friends, uh, Dream Fiend. There'll be a link to their channel here. Ding. And that is the music that we used. And I've got to admit, I, I love it. I love synthwave music. I love every, the eighties and that sort of genre, uh, of synthwave and stuff like that. So, to be able to use this type of music, super stoked. So I want to say a big thank you to uh, Jay from Dream Fiend because honestly, the music is fantastic and it adds so much, so, so much to uh, the silly antics that I get up to here in the lab. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's crack on with this time lapse.
welcome back. So as you can see, we've got our reception desk in. I do like how, because we've got slabs on here to prevent slime spawning, I might put a slime farm in here because I think it's this chunk or part of this chunk, which is generating slime. I might have to ask for the seed and see if I can work it out. Bedrock's quite difficult because obviously you can't put chunk borders up, but if I can work out which chunk the slimes are spawning and we can get ourselves a little slime farm. Not that we particularly need it, we've got a ton of slime blocks already. But we've got a little aquarium in there, it's looking pretty good. As we mentioned before, we're going to have the teleporters probably in here. But I've also been working on the storage room, and I did a lot of this off camera because I mentioned before, I think everyone's kind of seen storage places and everything like that and how it's all done, but I will show you this because this is actually different. I was going to use Impulse SVs, but I have noticed there is a problem with that in Bedrock and sometimes it seems to miss it. It misses the item. So I'm instead using one by Silent Whisper, uh, sorry, Silent Whisperer, and I'll be putting a link to that tutorial. Definitely go check it out. It is silent. It is incredibly accurate. I've not had any issues. It works exactly the same as the Impulse one. And it's very simple. It's a little more expensive with the sticky pistons and then the obsidian and stuff like that, but it, it's it's worth it for how just how good it is. It, it works so well. Um, I'm very, very impressed, so definitely check it out. But we have got all of our stuff. We need to get some signs and start kind of putting in our, what, what everything is. I need to get a whole bunch of different woods because this section here does not have any items apart from I think, these free chests, so... Yeah, nothing in that one, oak planks in that one. So we're gonna have all the different woods down here. We've got all the different stones here. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking we do go ahead and do, uh, do we want item frames? I think that would probably cause a lot of lag. So maybe we'll do signs. I think signs might be better. So I need to get a whole bunch of wood together, get that done and see what we want to do for the rest of this episode. Cause I, it, this this took me a lot longer than I planned, but I did it in a time lapse. So as far as content for a video, it wasn't that much. Uh, it, it it gives me gives me a few issues when it comes to how I want to do this. Obviously, we could continue these tunnels down here, but again, it's nothing really substantial. I mean, we could always head over to the to the pirate town and and do a little work there. Because I did say I was going to put in a uh, a fountain. A little anchor fountain. Look at all the slimes. Jeez, like, it's just non-stop. They are everywhere. They just follow me around, dying these bushes. But uh, we've got everything sorted as far as like our storage. We had a whole bunch of shulkers here. They're now all empty. So I can start moving over all the material that I've got in the lighthouse uh, and kind of bring it over here now and... and... Hello. So yeah, we can bring it all over. So I'm going to get to doing that. I'm going to gather up some different woods that I do need. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll see where the moment takes us, I guess. Nice try, buddy, but I don't think you were expecting me to sleep in this uh, pool of water in the ocean, were you? I didn't know that they could actually swim down. You can be at the bottom of the ocean. Those things will come after you. I did not know that. I thought they'd leave you alone in the water. I mean, I've had them attack me before now while I'm flying with my elytra, and they hit you. So they are... Pretty capable creatures to attack you. Uh, but yeah, anyway, just wanted to share that with you. And before anyone accuses me of cheating, if they've just joined the series and don't know, but wandering traders have all kinds of cool new trades. One of them is command blocks, and these are going to be essential for getting our teleporters up and running. So we can afford five right now, which is, it's okay. It's relatively good. It took me a while to get it. I mean, this is obviously a wandering trader spawner down at Frankie's place. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool to have all these extra functions that you can't get in the base game because it does allow us to do a lot of creative things like, for example, create teleporters or actual in the context of, you know, a science lab, proper working teleporters. Uh, so it's really useful, I think. Uh, I, there are circumstances, though, where it does feel a little OP. But 
I think overall it's definitely adding a huge amount to Season 2 of Craftware, and I do enjoy it. Now we've got to make our way back to the lighthouse. I probably should have took the a, the enormous bridge minecart track, but uh, never mind. We've got ourselves some command box. Now I can't place these in survival. I will have to go into creative. I also need to work out how to make it work, because I don't yet... Oh, hello. You know, I've been over this so many times and I've never noticed this here. So let's see if we've got ourselves a treasure map. Nah. Oh well. Worth a look. Worth a look. But yeah, we're going to head back to the lighthouse, get some shulkers together. Uh, and we actually, no, we need to find acacia. I don't really know where there's a acacia biome, so we might have to go exploring a little bit. Ow, pufferfish. Ah, oh, I should have seen those coming. Jerks. We have got everything named. It's all looking pretty good. We've actually got some spur spots as well. So these, one, two, three, four, five, six, are placeholders. Until I can figure out what I want to put in there. Like if we don't have honey blocks, so that'd be something that goes in there. These might change because, I mean, I have a shulker, which I usually keep all my valuables and that's where my diamonds are anyway. Uh, we could probably rework that to something else. But all these down here are now filled with placeholder blocks, so we should, in theory, if I put something into the system, we need to do a... You know, that could be the... That could be the, the, the sort of the end of the episode, is we work on a little item elevator and a shulker unloader that we can, I don't know, do something to get it into that system up here. Um, but in theory, I can pop these in here and let's say we put these in, this doesn't have anything. So those should, when this goes through the system, those should pop out here. But we'll give it a bit of time. I need to work out where I want to put wool as well, uh, as I don't have a set location for that. Uh, let's go oak planks, just put them away manually. And I will actually in the oak log one as well. I'm just going to put some sticks down here. Got some eggs to make a uh, chicken farm at some point. We do need to get a chicken out of that. Whether we will or not, I do not know. Uh, you know, I'll just chuck the wall in there for now. Let's go have a look and see if those signs have come through. Not yet. Are they still going through the system? Hopefully nothing's got stuck. Come on. Where are we? Where would they have come out? Yes, no, no, we seem to be stuck. Okay, we have a problem with the system. Let's go find out where they've disappeared to. It'll be something silly and stupid. It'll be, I don't know, I've probably put some blocks the wrong way around or something like that. So hang on, I'm gonna get a, I need some sort of blocks to, to pillar with iron, that'll do just so we can find out exactly where these have gone, because they should, in theory, be in that chest. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, they're not gonna go into the chest like that, but yeah, it does work, that's that's good to know. We do need a, uh, a hopper into that. In fact, if I got, no, I can't access my, Arr! Welcome back, name my cat. We picked this little guy up from a desert village. We were off collecting cactus, because I need, lime green glass for these teleporters because it looks the most I guess sciency teleporter e but we went ahead and we put in our little shocker box on loader here uh the only difference is it's not a mumbo jumbo design again this is silent whisper uh, silent whisperer sorry I keep getting that wrong silent whisperer uh, again link in the description for that one very compact silent Hopefully it works. Hopefully I've done it right. We're going to test it out. We have got two shockers, one with redstone supplies uh, and one with Neverack. Now I'm going to actually, no, we're not going to do the, we'll, we'll just chuck that in there and see if it works. That sounds promising. I saw a flash. Things are going up and it should come down here in there in a second. But while we're waiting for that, let's put this here. That will unload everything out of this box. Now this box has got stuff that is all sortable. So that should be coming through fine. You should be coming through anytime soon. Unless there's something not quite right up here. Now that's working. 
So just stay, oh, there we go. No, it does, it does work. It just takes its time. So that is excellent. We're going to put on a little, I'm going to block this in a little bit. And I mean, would that be enough? Do we just do that? I don't like that. I kind of want to go behind. So now that's not empty yet, but we will go ahead and yeah. Okay. And we'll just bring this down here behind this one. Just give it a little bit of an old cove because I don't want to be able to rule. Can you open it with glass? I wonder. I wonder. Now I'm just going to spam some torches in here because I don't want mobs spawning in here. That should be enough for that. If we just lock. Ugh, I've done this wrong already. Let's do that. Let's do that and that. And that and that. Get a little more concrete there. So I just want to have this hidden. Uh, eight should be enough. That should be plenty. So let's just go ahead and pop them in here. And then we bring down this. But we have maybe a little piece of glass or something. That shouldn't break it. It shouldn't break it. It probably will, because it's, it's me and I seem to break things all together. Uh, we need glass, 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 glass. Let's go with the, let's go with the light blue glass for this. Now, I don't know if this is the case in bedrock. Can it open with glass on top? No. Damn. That's unfortunate. But it is what it is. So that's now clear anyway. So we can go bump. Make it sucked up into there. And it should come out through there in a second. Um, do I want to close that off? I could potentially close it off. Yeah, we'll close that off there. And we shall close that off there as well. I feel like that could be the way to go. Maybe a little bit more concrete. I, I did want it so you could see in there, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think it's completely necessary in the end. So let's chuck this glass back away. Redstone's not my friend. Um, hmm. That'll do. Nice little alcove effect. Let's go ahead and swap that out for a little lantern. So now we'll push it. It should automatically get collected and it should get emptied. So if I was to go ahead and do that again, we're going to put concrete in there. Unsortable item two. Pick that up. Pop it down. We can still open it and have a look if we need to. Those will get disappeared and empty. So we can do that. It's vanished. Don't need to worry about that gap under there. We'll, we'll see. Hopefully I don't lose shulkers with this. I'm, I'm hoping that's not going to happen. Uh, I feel like I was pretty, pretty good at covering all my bases there. If need be, I can go under and put a, another hopper there. It's not a problem. That's... Yep, okay, it does. It, I didn't lose it. Phew. <laughs> well, there we go. We have got our storage system up and running. Everything is working. Thank you to Silent Whisperer. Got it right this time. For the excellent, excellent tutorials, it makes life easier, so much easier for a redstone idiot like myself. And we've got our reception desk in. Let me know what you think. Name the cat in the comments. And yeah, if you've enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm hoping, hoping to get back to to tutorials soon, some build tutorials. I've got lots planned, but I've been really struggling with my sleep, so I don't really want to put a tutorial out when I can't even say the word tutorial, if you get what I mean. So yeah, long way to go. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.